The most insane women on paternity court. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Miller. Be respectful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? Animosity can make people do all sorts of things. Yeah, believe it or not, it can even make mothers deny the alleged right to paternity. No matter how many miles you travel or how much you beg, it's hard to change this mommy's mind. Why is Ms. Miller saying you're not Zaylee's father? Your Honor, I believe it's just out of pure hatred. Uh, I drive 100 and about 60 miles every other weekend just to pick up my daughter and drop her off. Over the, that's about 10,000 miles. That's wear and tear on my car. She doesn't have a driver's license. She doesn't have any way to bring her to me. She doesn't have any way to meet me halfway. Hate? That's a really strong word. Would you prefer dislike? Well, no, Mr. Rasmussen. The fact he chose someone else over his ex fiance has created a rift between them, and now she wouldn't let her get close to their daughter. Let's see if the Tigerton woman agrees with these claims. Yes, I was very mad at him for being a cheater. He cheated on me through pretty much our whole relationship. No, I do not hate him because of that. I am lost my respect for him, yes. He loves his daughter, but you don't want him to have the visitation, is that true? Yes, Your Honor. The only reason why he wants the visitation is to claim her on his taxes. Wait, he's doing his taxes? Does that make sense? It did to mommy, I guess. Still, Judge Lake had a hard time buying it. The money he would get will go into the expenses of seeing his child. Plus, he was already paying child support. It's clearly not about money if he's paying his child support. And he also spends money coming to see her. What is this really about for you? Why is it you don't want him involved in this child's life? Because I still believe that she, he is not hers. Okay, and, and listen, I, that's what we're here for. I want to get down to the bottom of the truth. How is Miss Miller sure that Mr. Rasmussen was not the biological father? He was playing the full-blown dad. Why would a man do such of things if there was an ounce of doubt? But baby mama responded like this. She was conceived in March 2011. He wasn't even in the same state. He was in Vegas. At that time in March, I wasn't even with him. I was with somebody else because he broke up with me because he cheated on me. Uh, I'll be the first to admit it was, a, it was a mistake. You heard the woman. She swindled out of spite, which added another potential father to the mix. Then why was the defendant so steady on being a father? Turns out that he found out recently in the couple's court while fighting over the custody of the baby girl. Brings it up that uh, I could possibly not be the father because of another man that was involved. And she gave some date. I can't remember the specifics. And the other father part popped up when they broke up, which raised more suspicion. In addition to that, he was listed as the father on the birth certificate. And the defendant even told them how excited he was to see her daughter that he beat his girlfriend to the hospital. I called my boss at work and said, hey, I got to take some days off. I don't care if you fire me or whatever, but I got to stay here. My daughter's being born. That's a lie. <clears throat> she was born. That was an amazing story. You say that was a lie? Yes, it is. <laughs> After she was born, he was gone. What's this woman's problem anyway? It's like she's living in her bubble. So the judge straight up asked her. It turns out that after getting cheated on multiple times, she just wanted the man out of her life. All of this is happening, and this man is continuing to step up to the plate. A daughter on the way, a, he has a, a newborn baby girl. Even through the breakup, you all are making custody and visitation arrangements, but you know deep down there's another possible father. Exactly my point. Why wait so long to tell him? Well, Miss Miller defended herself with the same excuse. Ah, the more she grew up, the more her looks changed. My doubts became clear. Oh, if you had doubts in the first place, why not talk about them? She that. looks exactly like I did when I was three years old. I have a picture of me when I was three. And so this is a picture of Zaylee on the left and you as a child, Mr. Rasmussen, on the right. That is correct, Your Honor. And you say you see a distinct similarity. Yes, I do. Do you see it, Ms. Miller? You feel like Zaylee looks like the other gentleman you yes. were intimate with. Suspicion or not, it was evident that Daddy was at the podium and was not ready to give up on his daughter that easily. He wanted the DNA results so all of the drama would finally be over. But what if it proved otherwise? Would he be able to bear that bombshell? Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. <laughs> Cheating on your boyfriend for whom you left your husband. Miss Jackson has been hustling a lot, and now both of her children are in doubt circles. Because even though Mr. Lovett loved the kids, he couldn't shake off the infidelity part. My oldest son looks different from him. He's darker, he's chubby, got He has a different mother, another son by another woman. Yeah. He has a 
different mother, right. of course he's gonna but look I different. Still, stuff that she be doing, it brings the doubts on it. Okay. Like, it ain't like you been good. You're right. Of course you been pregnant. And you ain't even. Well, the constant infidelity wasn't only on the defendant's part. She even imposed that the man at the podium was just making things up because he can't commit to one woman. This woman had all surveillance set up on the Orlando man. I wasn't like stalking you. You gave me you put your text password. Devices on my phone, right? Yes, because How I did not times? trust you. Every time I delete it, I, Every I, I wake time. up in the morning sometimes. And when you get a new I phone, I see a little bird on the top of my phone. Like, what this bird doing? No, you know, he's so been I find the checking device and he's I delete been it. Been to be and not loyal. Days go by, another checking so, device on my phone. Trust issues are running through this relationship. And next, the plaintiff pointed out that Miss Jackson had too many kids, which shows her dealing with different men. And you can never believe a woman like that, which was hard for the baby mama to digest. It was her phone. It was her phone. I was talking like I was there. He got in my I was at work. Hold on, one at a time. Let me hear I was at work, and I was text, but I had her phone. We switched phones that day. So I was texting guy like I was her, and then he sent me a picture. The same guy that posted being her cousin. Not true. Is this the grass cutting guy? Yes. I know that makes no sense. So let's make it simple for you. Miss Jackson lied about a random guy at her house being her cousin. And that man used to pop out at her house uninvited. And this added soreness in the relationship. He recognized the guy's face through my messages. The guy hit me up and said, hey, I never replied back. So he played like he was me and was writing the guy, asking the guy all kinds of questions. Did Mr. Lovett have any proof apart from that? Well, there was one time when they had broken up and right after that time, the defendant got pregnant. Quite striking, right? That is exactly how the plaintiff felt too. You know she's pregnant, but then trying to get back with you because yep. you feel like she wanted you to take care of this baby and all of her other children. That too, and also she's still married, so I wasn't taking it serious was in the beginning. Upon until I got so pregnant. I still not so now we got kids in between the marriage. Yeah, we must not forget that she was still married to someone else. So no matter how many boyfriends come and go, her husband will have to take care of all the children, which isn't fair. Listen to the hobby himself. You are Corey Jr.'s biological father? No, you are. We both can't get divorced. He has another woman, other kids in between the marriage. I have another man and kids between the marriage. You're in legal limbo. You are. That's And that's what I keep trying to tell him. Do you know if something was to happen to me that he's their father legally? They most certainly were in legal limbo. Though the baby mama knew how serious it was, she refused to take all the blame because she was too pretty to be anyone's doormat. Well, no one should be taken as slack. Still, running between men like that is not a healthy obsession. Mr. Lovett is Corey Jr.'s father. Oh, that yeah. you're convinced of. She can't stay alone. And it shows whether I'm in her life or not, she gonna keep it moving. It ain't my fault I look good. Yeah, you look good. You do have trouble being alone. Yeah, and that's not because you're beautiful. Right. That's not how you look on the outside, that's how you feel on the inside, babe. With that mess being addressed, let's not forget that it was kids who were being neglected and taken for granted. That's why there was one way left to know where their future would land. You are not his father. DNA. Are you sure? How is that possible? Do you know who his father is? You know who it is. <laughs> Sleep and joy can make you weep and disgust. As you can see in this case, Mr. Boston dragged the defendant into court, saying that he has undeniable proof that there's no possibility of him being the father of this trifling woman. Meanwhile, Miss Murphy asserted that she is tired of the plaintiff's lies, and she wants to stop by conducting a DNA test. Moving to the plaintiffs to see to whom the DNA diagnostic will favor. Mr. Boston, you have dragged the defendant into court today because you have undeniable proof that there is no way that you are the biological father of 10 month old son Tristan. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Murphy, you believe the DNA results will be your proof today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So the testimony started with Mr. Boston's evidence, and the evidence was invisible. No one could see it because his dynamic words were the solid, undeniable proof. I think something hit his mind. His words do not seem trustworthy, as he is clearly just bluffing. What is your proof that you are not Tristan's father? Yana, you have to have sex to make a baby. I don't remember even doing it well. Lies. You don't He's remember lying. having sex with Miss Murphy? He's lying. Why am I he was at my house that? all the time, every night in my bed. It is your assertion to this court that you've never been in a sexual relationship with Miss Murphy? I mean, I'm not denying it like that, but I'm just saying. Here, the yes or no game begins. Let's play it with him. <laughs> 
The defendant stated that they were in a committed relationship, but the plaintiff tried to blow off the baby mama's testimony with his dumb lies like that. Yana, he I rubbed found my out. belly and everything. He was smiling that and she everything. She was pregnant in the process of me being no, over a no, family member's house. No. That family member came and told me, well, you know somebody named Therese? At the time, I didn't know her government name. Only thing I knew was He's proof. lying. You've been sleeping with her for four months and don't know her name. Not even her government He's name. Only you thing sound about crazy, proof. Mr. Boston. <laughs> My, who on earth is this desperate to be intimate with a girl? Man, you were sleeping with her for four months and you still didn't know her real name? What he is testifying is just crazy, or he's just naive. I wasn't even in her house for four months. He's lying. He's she lying, Your Honor. He's lying. She would call me over there he's every lying. other night. He was at my house Sometimes I every came night, us, sleeping I in the same stayed bed. Over there alone, kicking it with them, you know, having beverages. Stayed over time, and my mom was asleep, so I couldn't get in her house. So yes, I did spend a night over there. It was an everyday thing. I slept thing. on her float it was in every her living room. No lying. On with the procession of the trial, it slipped out that Miss Murphy was busy with another but she stated the facts of her being certain regarding the baby's parentage. She told the court that when the baby was conceived, she was with Mr. Boston only. For the period of time when I found out I was pregnant, he was the only man that I was No, I was not. With. He was the only man that I was with. He was together. intimate with other guys way no, before. One person there was too many after guys him, that I already him, knew I was, out there was telling me no, her name. after him, I was oh, only you know with one how you guy. Know, how you know her? Too many guys. To clear up the doubts, Judge Lake summoned Mr. Gregory into the court. He contended that they were sexual buddies. And upon getting news about baby mama's pregnancy, he blew everything off and blocked her instantly. I must say, this man has got some nerves. After his false actions, he is narrating them proudly. We've determined that you, in fact, a relationship with Miss Murphy. A sexual relationship. Just a sexual relationship. Take me back to the day Miss Murphy told you she was pregnant. She texted me on Facebook and told me she was pregnant. I never talked to her again. Like, deleted, deleted everything, <laughs> so I blocked her. You got a message on Facebook that she was potentially pregnant by you and you deleted her? Blocked it. However, the witness rolled up to the podium and testified in her best friend's favor. She asserted that she also knows that Mr. Boston is the father, and he's just making up stories to avoid the situation. Who do you believe is Tristan's biological father? Mr. Boston. <laughs> and why is I, that? But I was living with Teresa the whole time. When he was saying he wasn't really coming over there that he much. Was. Right, he was. And he was sleeping on the floor. He, he was sleeping, sleeping in my floor. bed. Was Mr. Boston the only man coming over there within that four month period? When she was saying him, he was the only man. Uh, things were out of control, as baby mama didn't even know who the baby daddy was. Their non-serious back and forth statements made Judge Lake furious, and she gave the reality check to these adults like this. If you know you slept with more than one man during the window of conception, it is your responsibility to figure out who that child's father is. You know both of these men could be that child's father. Just because I am empowering this young woman to understand what she should have done, you all are not off the hook, because I don't like how you all over here scowling at her when both of you lay down with her willingly. Their ongoing discussion further fuels the whole situation instead of helping to resolve the case. But it was quite evident that they needed to know the results for the baby and his biological father needed to man up. So let's go get those results and see what that envelope is hiding in it. It has been determined by this court. You are not his father. Do you know who this child's father is? As you come of age and get older, you're gonna learn that sometimes you just gotta put your big girl panties on and you got to tell the truth. And I mean this respectfully. It must hurt when you plan something good for someone and they stab you in the back. In this case, Mr. Wilson wanted to prove to the defendant that he was not the father of her child, while Miss Dean believed otherwise and said he turned his back on her and the baby. And now his denial is hurting them. So to get the closure, we need a DNA test. Mr. Wilson, you've opened your case to prove that Ms. Dean's 17-month-old daughter, Jakiah, is not your biological child. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Dean, you say Mr. Wilson has turned his back on your daughter and he welcomed her into the world and signed her birth certificate. And his denial is hurting you and your daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. The plaintiff said the reason he didn't accept the baby yet and wanted the results. 
Miss Dean said he was lying and shocked the court with their foolish plans that worked out very badly in the end. I don't believe I'm the father because I have been fooled by multiple females in the past. I have been going down this rodeo for far too long. I signed on a birth certificate. I'm not there physically. I just can't handle it because she just no consistency. I just want answers today so I can have closure. So you saying you've been fooled twice, but you're not going to be fooled again. Correct, Your Honor. Mr. Wilson explained his relationship with the defendant and told the plans they had regarding the baby. By far, the story seems fine until the plaintiff commented about the resemblance of the baby. Yeah, an ex popped up. The time I was taking care of my stepfather, had my own house, car work, and things of that nature, we decided to meet up. And we met up. We actually planned the baby. The baby was just not a coincidence. She knew what I'd been through in the past with not having kids and how desperately I wanted to have a kid. She was willing to go through with it with me. And I did. And you don't see the baby? Then, you know, I see the baby, but I don't see me in the baby. I see the ex in the baby. The plaintiff said that he was unsure about the paternity because of the inconsistent lies of Miss Dean. But the defendant denied the accusations and told the events of pregnancy. Well, we are not sure who's a better liar. Miss Dean, when you found out you were pregnant, take me to that day. I had my period in February. We conceived in March. When you found out you were pregnant, I called him. He was acting like he was happier than two J Bird. All right, so you called Mr. Wilson and he was happy. Yes. When the baby came out, you couldn't tell him that that wasn't his kid at all. Okay. The judge asked for Mr. Wilson's involvement during the pregnancy and childbirth and he thoroughly admitted all of his responsibilities. So far, things look good. But where did it go wrong? So you were there at the birth? Yes, I did was. Did you go to doctor's appointments for the baby, She too? never followed through with it. But at the birth, you came. You I lied. came. And you cut the umbilical cord? I did one, two, three. Did you sign the birth certificate? Yes, I did. So you accepted this baby as your own? I did. And at that time when you did that, you believed you were the father? Didn't have no doubts. The plaintiff explained the time when things started taking the wrong direction. After the accusations against the defendant, she called him a liar and started crying about her sole responsibilities for the kid. Girl, how can a man support you if you cheat on him? And in a mix of us being in a relationship, she's getting bigger. She's whispering, I hear echoes. She's always in a different room of the apartment. And I'm like, why are you never around the kids? She's like, I can't talk now because my ex is here. And why is he there at 11 o'clock at night if the kids got school in the morning? And he knew exactly what was going on. And with that other guy, he just don't want to take responsibility and be a man to stand up. Upon being asked about the paternity issue, Mr. Wilson said he didn't have any doubts until he confronted her ex and embarrassed himself by finding out the dirty ways she was playing with him. Well, now she's in trouble. I didn't have doubt until she told me I didn't have sex with him. He's just laying on the couch. Okay, I went with that. When I ran into him at the bus stop, I said, this is a coincidence. What's the story in his end? If it add up to what she's telling me, then I have no doubts. I asked him, I said, if y is y'all having a child together? He's like, yeah. I said, what y'all supposed to be having? He said, a little girl. He went into details. So there, that Lying. fueled my doubt. The judge then asked the plaintiff why he signed the birth certificate. He shocked the court by sharing Miss Dean's weird behavior when he had the baby to himself for a few days. Now this woman appears crazy. When the baby was born, it was so light and bright. I was like, he's so dark, she's dark. There's no way he's the father. The she was like, bring me, like me back that. my baby because I was telling her, it's not your baby, it's his baby. Ah, like the Byron. <laughs> I, I said, you He know. was like, that's right, that's my baby. Bring back my baby. The defendant fought back his claims and shared the reason behind her cold words to Mr. Wilson. In a minute, she threw a heartless accusation at him. He had the baby trying to take the baby so he can be with someone else. He used me, baby. She watched too many lifetime, no, Your Honor. No, he used me, Your Honor. He proposed to me, told me that we were going to get married, moved in together. He lied, took the baby, tried to move away. He had the baby in his care. He never took her because I gave her to him. Now, Mr. Wilson's witness stepped in and shared her stance on this confusing story and also recalled Miss Dean's crazy behavior at her home. The defendant's double-sidedness is clearly shown here. She came to my home Lying. looking for my brother with her family, throwing things at my window. That's Bring me back my, my baby. baby. That's not his my baby. You want to tell me where y'all was at? Where she told my family. I wasn't home at the moment. She said, I heard my, her family said, that's not his baby. Bring where that baby at? Where that baby at? That's not his baby. How he going to take a baby that's not here? The defendant confronted the accusations and repeatedly said that they were lying. Well, now only a DNA test can give the closure they want. I tell you, we have no contact. I don't even got Gennaro's number now. He is lying. But my point is, has it ever been stated that Jakiah no. is not his child? Not, no. not by me. It has been determined by this court. 
Mr. Wilson, you are not the father. <laughs>